chance for you to go fund to yourself. It's the next one coming up in a minute. If you listen to the show on iHeartRadio from outside of the greater northeastern Ohio metropolitan area, let me know where you do that. Give you a pin on the map that you can see in all of its uh, glory over Bill's shoulder. If you watch the live stream at alancockshow.com. Uh, Corey is a new bureau chief. He's in Sterling Heights right outside Detroit. Uh, Stephen is down in Jensen <laughs> Beach, Florida. That's right by Port St. Lucie on the eastern coast of Florida. Uh, Manny is in Wamama, Florida, which I think might be west coast. I think that might be in the Tampa area. Wamama? Wamama. Wamama. It's a fun one to say. Alicia's in Ypsilanti. Bushman is out in Denver. <laughs> Uh, never. It's the Mile High City. <laughs> uh, Doug is in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Pointing yeah, right um, <laughs> his general direction. Justin is at it, you idiot. Justin is in Prairieville, Louisiana. <laughs> it's the one that looks like a backwards L or yeah. a forwards L. <laughs> I think an L. That's the right way. Uh, Chad's in Thibodeau, Louisiana. That's all right there. Yeah. And Courtney and Cole are up in Bemidji, Minnesota. Man. <laughs> there you go. That's a little uh, trip around the map there, yeah. here on the Alan Cox Show. You're welcome. Uh, Cavaliers, tonight they will uh, see the Pistons at the Romo Fijo. Blake Griffin is having knee surgery, so he is out indefinitely. Is everyone on the Cavs healthy currently? Uh, no. Kevin Porter Jr. got hurt on... Uh... Sunday night, and he's out for a couple weeks, and he'll be reevaluated. Not KPJ. He's great. He's a rookie. Come on. He's having a great season. Okay, so he's out, but otherwise they're hale and hearty. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's the best they can be. They're still bad. <laughs> <laughs> they're ten and twenty-six, mm -hmm. but they're healthy. Just because you're, uh, you know, you know what they say: if you've got your health, you've got everything. Mm. If you've got your health, right? Not, not everything. You don't have a winning record. Yeah, you, but if you've got your health as a professional athlete, that's more than a lot of people can ask for. It's a grind, man. Day in, day out. you got to stay at the, in great shape. you got to try to not get hurt. Ugh. So, yeah, 7 o'clock tonight. 6.30 is when the pregame will start. See the dude make the half court shot at the Laker game for 100 no, grand? Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I love those. Pretty nice. I'll see if I can find it for you here. Okay, let me see if I can bring you up on the old live stream. Yeah, I might have it. I feel like I'm going to do something like that one day. I, I always enter those things when they're like, oh, you know, drop a, you buy a ticket or 50 50s or whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like that'll be the way that I come into some money. On accident, my you're gonna, ticket, you're my ticket the... gets pulled, and then I have to have some ridiculous. Like you got to make a full court shot and whatever. And I I'm gonna do you, it. And then I lost you. Okay. You're there, and then you're gone. You have me there. There we go. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Let me show you this guy. If you're watching at AlanCockShow.com, make sure we're up here. It's our hmm. first video of 2020, Bill. I know. See it's exciting. Know, see if I still know how to do it. So far, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> no hiccups at all. Uh, no, I know. Uh, hold on. Whoop, hold on. Hold on. Whoop, hold on. I'll find it for you. <laughs> Take the sound off. Right? Yep. This, yep. The sound. Where's this? Oh, uh, hold on. I don't have the thing plugged in, right? <laughs> this is gonna be, it's pretty anticlimactic now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's really anticlimactic. That's just like what you call, yeah. call like, IT, like, did you try unplugging it? Yeah. Did you try plugging it back oh, I in? I forgot. No, yeah. it's gonna, but it's gonna be. Did you try turning it it's off? It's gonna be anticlimactic now. Yeah. Did you hold down the power button? Now hold down the power uh, button again. Okay, yeah, hold on. Yeah, we'll go crazy. It's a, it's a great shot. Unbelievable. Ah, that's so exciting. <laughs> I have the chills. That's just a regular guy. I have goosebumps. Regular guy. Still, you have the goosebumps after watching it four times without the sound? <laughs> yeah. The sound makes it better. I'm so happy for him. And he gets how much? $100,000. Wow. Look at that. But man, Uncle Sam will take everything. Well, he'll still probably get like 60 grand. He'll but get still, 65 grand. Yeah, what's the matter with that? Why well, you got to yeah. piss on the guy's parade all of a sudden? You just you made a half court shot. I couldn't make that shot. You might. I feel like there's no skill in that. 
I hope you. you I there's hope some you, skill uh, in it. There's some skill. Is, I think the hardest part is getting it that far. Yeah, but you also have to. You have to know how to get it that far. Push. He looks like yeah, but he. Pound cake couldn't get it that far. You probably couldn't get it that oh, far. Please, I, I wouldn't could. even. I wouldn't even get it ten feet. Even you if you can get throw. it. Even yeah. if you can get it that far, it's got to be ninety nine percent luck. Yeah, that's what I'm that saying. I'm position. like, I think that's pretty across the board. If you it's, get a chance it, to do that, it's a lot of luck. But if you know how to shoot a basketball, you're gonna have better luck. I guess. Right. I also hope it doesn't go unnoticed, uh, Mary, that I pretended to not have that already there, so that after watching it a couple times, I could add the sound. Yeah. And that would it, add it another did. layer it really to did. it. So you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. <laughs> I wish I could get that pumped up like Mary does. Like, I feel things. I we've talked you, about. I feel things wholly and fully, no matter what it holy? is. Wholly. Wholly. W H O. Not. H-O-L-E. Not H O L E Y. No, no. Holy. Holy. The yeah. fact yeah. that just adding sound to it made it such a it made different it experience it for you. It did. It did. It was like you hear everybody shouting and it's exciting. Imagine if you were there. Oh, man. Right? That would have been crazy. Now, how would you Would you have cried? Would you have uh, ejected tears? I probably would have teared up thinking about, about it. Guy? Like thinking about, about well, it. Well, like, like, wow, his life just got so much better. Like, think about it. all the things he doesn't have to worry about. Even 65 grand knows not a ton of money. And that's just that's a, a number I'm throwing up. But like uh, that could that could solve a lot of problems in someone's life. It could wipe a lot of slates clean. That's what I'm saying. You could start from zero again with yeah, a lot of things. That's and exciting. Make a lot of bets. You could no betting. Buy a lot of <laughs> jet skis. No jet skis. Why not? Maybe two jet skis. You don't need more than you don't need a fleet of jet skis. I need nine jet skis. You don't. Nine. How much is it? You're gonna put them in a flying V formation. But how much is a jet ski? Well, I'll tell you what. Two grand. You get a discount after the eighth one, so it's like a punch card. A jet ski, like a sea do. Are, mm-hmm. I mean, are they five grand or are they th- but two there's, grand? I thought it was like twenty five hundred. Was my guess. I want a two. No, I jet think ski. I think they're more than twenty five hundred. For a jet ski? Yeah. I have no For idea. For a new one. Maybe How a much is one. a scooter? It's a water scooter. <laughs> a water scooter. It's it a is. personal water craft. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come on. You haven't found a price yet. No, the goddamn. From sixteen thousand dollars. No. I'm looking right at it. From sixteen thousand no dollars. That's the cheapest. I don't believe I that. I can believe That's that. That's the cheapest jet ski. It's still a motorized one, vehicle. Yeah. It's I a two-person personal watercraft. You can get a, a, a single seater, but still, I'm okay, sure that would so be like okay, eight you grand. Okay, you could get one for fifty-four hundred dollars. Yes, I'm saying five thousand dollars on the low end. Cheapest one here is fifty-four grand. That's five thousand to twenty thousand. Fifty-four is grand. What it goes. Sorry, fifty-four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. For fifty-four grand, you should get a full boat. <laughs> so that guy, you know, he's got some money. Good for him. He could get a fleet of jet skis. <laughs> now let me show you something even more terrifying. Not that it wasn't terrifying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> show me something more terrifying than a guy winning a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Good luck trying Liter- to find something more anything. terrifying. <laughs> Than someone hitting a lucky shot at a basketball game. I, I challenge you. I know. Hold on. Yes. Terrifying. Hold on. No, no. Mary's getting to her feels again because there's music. Oh, man. Yeah. I can't. What does this music do to you? This music doesn't do it. Is this jazz? This doesn't do anything to me. I thought you like jazz. I you're, like missing, you're missing Night Town. Yeah, she liked all that sexy jazz. Blues. I know, yeah. but it's a jazz club. You but go it back, it's going to be jazz show. night. But no, I can go back on Blues Night. But isn't Blues supposed to be sad? You said it was all sexy. Blues is it's come. It's full of feeling. It's all. It can be sad. It can be sexy. It can be whatever. Remember, the most important thing in blues is not the notes that you play. It's knowing why they need to be played. See? And which it's, notes the most important thing behind it. The most important thing in any musical composition is which notes you don't play. Yeah, if this is jazz, I don't like this at all. Don't you worry about is this it. Kenny you wanna G? like you wanna this like sitting by a fireplace listening no, to this? Not at all. This does absolutely nothing for me. I'm really bummed over the course of three weeks at home. I didn't build one fire in the fireplace. Alan! I know. I have a fire I had, every night. I had, yeah, you <laughs> get blue electric fire. It's blue, yeah. It's great. I, I love that thing. I lit a candle. Thing. We yeah. had candles going the whole yeah, time, but that's I, fire. I never built one fire. <laughs> yes, that is fire. See? Very good. So I built a fire. I mean, I couldn't build <laughs> one on... a fire? I couldn't build one fire. on Christmas Eve, of course, because Santa was going to come down the chimney. Obviously. But then after that... And then, you know, New Year's Eve clause comes. You don't do yeah. that in your family? Yeah. Um, okay, let me, uh, this is... Uh, the jolly good fellow comes down the... I know what this girl is. 
Have you seen this? I, I, I read a headline about it. I like, I was talking yesterday, There, I don't watch a whole lot of reality television, but there are a couple shows I like, and one of them is called Below Deck, about the, I bet those people could get me a cheap sea do. I watch uh, Below Deck. Yeah, people who work on the crew on a yacht. And then the other show that I like is called Botched. Mm-hmm. And it's where, uh, I think it's these two plastic surgeons in L.A. or Miami mm-hmm. or something. One of them is the brother of the late frontman of Quiet Riot, the late Kevin Dubrow, who was the original singer for Quiet Riot, who died many years ago. His brother is one of these doctors. And then there's the other guy. And they both look like, you know how plastic surgeons all look like when they go home, they start doing work on themselves? Mm-hmm. Uh, they take their work home with them. Typical L.A. guys. But botched. Just eyebrows in the middle of their forehead. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's so weird. Look perpetually Half their surprised. Nose is gone. Mm-hmm. But botched. Um, this is the story of a woman named Crystal, who was bitten in the face by a dog when she was nine years old, and she initially had plastic surgery. And the doctor, for whatever reason, I don't know anything about cosmetic surgery, but for whatever reason, the doctor that she went to go see suggested that they take a skin graft from her groin to fix this wound on her face. I think you I think taking from petty. your butt and stuff sometimes. Sometimes so they do. Skin. Yeah. Yeah. This doctor said the groin, the result was she grows pubic hair out of this patch on her face. Oh, mm-hmm. poor woman. And she goes, carpet match the face. Oh, no. <laughs> she goes into her carpet is on her face. The botched doctor's. <laughs> To get it My fixed. grandfather was holding the dog. I was actually pretty terrified of the pit bull. All I remember is oh, a pit bull. Pit bull. Right, what? Wait a minute. Wait what? A minute. It's not the breed. All right. Black. Full attack mode. Yeah. So he bit out the chunk of tissue. Yeah. Oh, Clean. Then we went to the emergency room, and there the doctors suggested that. We wait until we see a plastic surgeon. Crystal is very lucky that the emergency room physicians didn't try to Let me show you her face up close, okay? I don't believe that the doctor mentioned I would grow pubic hair out of my back. <laughs> oh. She's growing pubic hair on her face. She's growing pubic hair on her face, and she's also got, like, razor bumps from trying to shave yes. it. Yes, like, and she's looks, cute. Yeah. I like how she goes, I don't think the doctor warned me that I would grow pubic well, hair on my face. Well, she was also a little face. kid. Right. Yeah. She probably didn't have pubic hair yet. Right? If she was a little kid when that happened? Eh, There's a lot of hormones and food. I don't know. I don't remember that. She's laughing about it. I guess she got to. Because there's so many places. They could have done the back, the abdomen. You obviously wouldn't do the armpit. How has this now since um, affected your life? I at first thought it didn't affect me. Um, since having my daughter, I really... And then everybody started calling me Gorilla Mask, and I didn't like it anymore. Well, at least she's got a nice rack. That, Shouldn't she's need any a, word on she's that. She's really cute. Cute girl. Yeah. Oh, she's man. She's just got pubes on her face. Anyway, watched that, watch that show botch. And it, it's, uh, it's on her cheekbone. Yeah. It's not even like in a place where normal facial hair would grow. Like, you know, if it was her chin, they could be like, oh, this is a hairy woman. You know? <laughs> would that be better? But it's still uh, like, but it's, not, it's, it's very different looking skin. Yeah, like the, it's skin, a different color. It looks like pubic skin. She has a puby semicircle yeah. on her face. Oh. All right, hey, listen, I've got $1,000 here for you. That'll go a long way, too. I mean, it's not a half-court shot, but you can win this every hour, so good luck. Hey, it's Rover. Go fund yourself. We have your shot at $1,000 now. Text the nationwide keyword MOM to the number 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info, standard data and message rate supply in this nationwide contest. That's MOM to 200-200. Good luck and go fund yourself from 100.7 WMMS. By the way, I did hear from Al, who is out uh, is our bureau chief in Carlton, PA, and all football season... Terry the Goat had been sending us pics, and we were gone on vacation for the last two weeks oh, that's right. mm. of the season. And Al said, I want to let you know that Terry went six and four the last two weeks. Week 17 and week 18, she went six and four. So she was 87 and 82 for the entire season. Oh, wow. That's pretty good for yeah. a goat. <laughs> for a goat, that is, yeah. That's very good for a goat. And he's going to send us. Her Super Bowl prediction Ooh. on the Thursday of the big game. So we can look forward to that. Second half of the season, she was 45 and 48. 
the entire season went 87 and 82. So Al is our bureau chief out there in Carlton, PA. He runs a farm. And uh, Terry the Goat was uh, making her NFL picks week to week. Can we? Uh, and it was a real roller coaster of a season, too. Yes. I would like each of you to take turns naming a team that is still in the playoffs. Well, the Patriots are out. The Tennessee Titans. There you go. Okay, Mary, your turn. The Minnesota Vikings. There you go. Pound cake. Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> <laughs> Are they still in the playoffs, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's right. <laughs> the Packers are still in. Packers are in. The yeah. Texans are still in. That's right. The um, Steelers? No, they didn't make it. No. Okay. Uh, and unlike Cleveland, they will not fire Mike Tomlin because they like consistency there. Um, um, the. Who else are in? The. The Louisiana Swamp Monsters? No. The Louisiana the, Swamp Monsters. The Saints. Saints are, are out, out, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you got the Jaguars. Seattle Seahawks. Oh, no, right. The they beat the Eagles, didn't they? They beat the Eagles. Right. You have uh, the Rams. Nope. They didn't make nope. it this year. The. I'm just trying to think. Baltimore of all is still of them. in. Baltimore. The Ravens the are still in. Baltimore, Kansas City. I'm right. looking at that map. 49ers are probably 49ers still in. 49ers are still, oh, still in. They had a bye, yeah. I think that's. Uh, is that it? And the Cleveland Browns. No, no, no. And no. the Chicago Bears. And the Texans. And then and the Detroit them. Lions. Nope, they're not. None of those. And the Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> Vikings, Packers, uh, 49ers, and what's the other team that won? The uh, Jets. Oh, Seahawks. I said that. Yeah, yeah the oh. Seattle Seahawks. There you go. So there those go. are the teams. <laughs> Patriots haven't missed the postseason in a decade. So no, all... they, they made it to the postseason. They just lost in the first round. No, I mean, this is the first time in 10 years that they haven't made it to the postseason, right? No, they made it to the—the the, the Patriots made it to the postseason. They just oh, lost. I see, yeah, I see what yes. you mean. First round, yeah. Yes, they lost in the first round. This is the first time in a long time that they were—they uh, didn't have that first round bye, and then they also lost in the first round, which is not their— You know, the, 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 pay, the Patriots had a pretty decent dynasty, you know, winning like six Super Bowls in 18 lot, or... years. Yeah, it's, it's, Look, it's, I think it's this is going to be—this will be a fun good. year, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's you'll great. Have, you'll have two teams yeah. in the Super Bowl that aren't, you know. Normally in the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. Might be the Packers and somebody else. <coughs> hey, Drunk Sue. Hey, baby. Else. How are you? What's going on? We're going to go all the way around, Luke. You talked about cheerleaders, cheerleaders earlier. Mm. My niece, she was a cheerleader for Ohio State. And they picked her to kick a field goal for $25,000. And she made it. Really? From how far out? I don't know. I don't know. Well, but it was for it charity. Deal. 30 yards, and probably? You know what she did? What? Even though she had school debt and no, whatever, she donated it to charity. Isn't that cool? I think that's very cool. It's very nice. She So she won twenty five grand on a field goal yep. kick as on a, a cheerleader. And yep. to, who did she donate it to? I don't know. Charities. Yeah. Know. Okay. It doesn't matter. She Does she? Re- it doesn't matter. How, how many? <laughs> matters. I mean, I was she curious. Had, me. How she long had ago? All that school debt, and she donated it just the same. How long ago was this? It was in like the nineties. She was an Ohio State cheerleader. Yeah, you said that. Does she regret it? No. Okay. Not at all. Well, that was very nope. nice of her. Not I don't know all. that I would have done the same thing. I would not. I probably would have given a little bit of it, but, you know. When I win a 50-50, I don't give it back. <laughs> People are like, donate it back to the kids. I'm like, I need this. Thank you. <laughs> All right. No. All right. I just want to tell you guys, I, you know, I love y'all. Thank you, Sue. All right, honey. All right. There you go. There's Drunk Sue. Many years ago, you niece, think it's cheerleader at Ohio State, kicks a field goal, wins twenty five grand, donates all of it to a charity of her choosing. You think it's easier to make a half-court shot or kick a field goal? Say thirty yards. Again, it depends. Yards for, it depends from depends where. On your I mean, skill set too. Yeah. Any but, random person, you don't have a skill set. Not a particular random person. Say, not particularly say, athletic. I would say half court shots easier than a field yeah, goal. Yeah, I think so too. I think so field too. goals are especially like what thirty yards. Our dude can't even do it. He's supposed to do it professionally. Yeah. I mean, a football. You know, you gotta kick it properly. It's mm-hmm. oblong, so it could slice in any weird direction. Yeah. Whereas a basketball's round, so it's not gonna like fly off way yeah. to the left. 
Yeah, I would think that the basketball would be the easier and you could potential miss. move. You could miss the football. That's like, what I'm saying. You could get it just like rolls off. <laughs> just the loosen yourself. Yeah, you could pull a Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah. Right there at the 30 yard line. Good for her. That would be tough. Sure. But if you have any, even if you have any kicking, kicking skill, experience, like I'm saying, like, <laughs> like if, a soccer if player, if you played or soccer or something like that, you might be better at that. But it's still, I think. They make it look so easy when it they do a football game. It does look really easy. That you go, oh, I could do that. And you try it and you go, oh, wow, that's actually really, really hard. Yeah. That's what I yeah. said about yeah. the axe throwing this weekend. You thought it looked I go, easy? Oh, a couple of, a couple of uh, informative tips on how to do it, and uh-huh. I'll be right as rain. Yeah. No. Nope. I'm sure there's some. I was either over rotating or under rotating or something. I don't know. I got it in a couple of times. <laughs> But other than that, because they got to wet the wood, too, to make it sticky. Yeah. Um, but, boy, I was really feeling deflated Yeah. after doing this axe-throwing thing at um, this bachelor party this weekend. I thought it was going to be a lot. I mean, it was fun. Yeah. The company was fine. It was, you know, it was a good time. And then on the other, because they put you in these cages, like batting cages that you're in there. So, no, you know, if, you, if the axe comes out of wild. your hand or something, yeah. yeah and the people on the other side of us were like super aggro because I think this is probably oh, like God, yeah. this is probably like the only thing to do in this town. By the way, it's a t- suburb of Detroit, and once six o'clock hit, this place got packed. I bet, and that's early. So I'm like, wow, this is. I'm like, the local numbers for competitive axe throwers probably went through the roof because people just go over there and practice. Yeah, nothing so else to fun- do. Yeah. yeah, but man, I stunk. I was really bummed. I want to open a professional. Butter knife throwing range. Do you throw it into butter? Yeah, it's a butter knife. And do like a butter sculpture? No. Or butter target? No, you're just throwing it. You're trying to get to stick into a block of butter. That's a block. Stick a into a block of butter? Mm-hmm. That would be very difficult to do. Hmm? Do a target in the middle is peanut butter. And it's if you win, you get to make a sandwich. Butter. It's a butter knife. Not a peanut butter knife. Right, but it's a... Uh, it's a butter target <laughs> with a peanut butter bullseye. <laughs> Isn't a butter knife you can do also a peanut you butter want knife? With your butter. <laughs> with my target. butter knife throwing. I, I'm going to have a block of butter, and you try and get the butter knife to stick into it. But so I'm clear. Your contention is that butter knives and peanut butter knives are, are different two different knives, implements. Yes. No, no. Oh, not I was going to say. I'm pretty sure. One. I'm just saying. I'm trying to keep it butter themed all the way through. Is not okay. Now, butter. what do you do in the summertime? What the butter will melt. No, it's, I'm, is it's it not 40 outside. degrees in in this place at all times? Uh, not that's a little too cold. I want it to be a little softer, so it's going to be fifty nine. It's very cold. <laughs> no one's going well, to come. Wear your butter. jacket. <laughs> wear your jacket to throw this butter knife. You see people with two hands the same way they do it with an axe yeah. over their head. Come to Bill Squire's refrigerator. <laughs> throw the knife. Billy's butter throwing. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's not. You're not throwing the butter. Mm-hmm. But get some kinks to work out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll get a prospectus to you, dear listener. All right, Cavs, uh, they're going to be playing the New York Knicks in a few days, and we'll get you those tickets for the Romo Fijo around 420. Def Leppard Motley Crue doing July 3rd at First Energy Stadium, part of that tour with Poison and Joan Jett. I'll have those for you later on, too. 35192 if you want to text. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app.